As a gesture of respect to Congress to fulfill its mandated duty of performing oversight work, both ABS-CBN and TV5 agreed to hit the pause button on their investment deal. As we hear more from our Daniel Manalastas. ABS-CBN and TV5 announced to jointly hit the pause button on the proposed investment by ABS-CBN for a minority stake in TV5. This in the midst of sentiments expressed by a number of legislators in the National Telecommunications Commission. They said the pause will provide the space for them to respond to Congress and media organizations on questions and issues raised. ABS, CBN, and TV5 believe that their agreement occurs well for the Philippine media and the broadcast industry, and especially free of charge television, which covers most Filipinos in the country. The announcement was made at the same time of a congressional hearing on the investment agreement between the two TV networks. And as lawmakers tackled the issue, Sagip Partilist Representative Rodante Marcoleta immediately resurrected the issues hounding the ABS-CBN over alleged violations. He also questioned the NTC on what it should have done over the past two years after the Congress thumbed down the network's franchise renewal applications in 2020. 2020 pa yun. Dalawang taon ang nakakaraan. Uh, bakit naman hindi mo kasi sinimulan? The violations about uh, the, P the, the PDRs, which is supposed to be the jurisdiction of the Securities, Securities and Exchange Commission, <coughs> as well as the uh, tax evasion uh, schemes that they have uh, employed, Mr. Chairs. Dahil uh, nangako pa ang BIR dito, eh, these are all obligations that uh, the NTC should have investigated in the first place. Marcoleta also cited the issues on transmitters and taxes owed. Yung uh, mismong opisina ng ABS-CBN, kahit na po yung building official, yung, kailangan po siguro patawag natin sila. Hindi sila pinapapapasok doon sa mismong uh, planta o istasyon ng ABS-CBN. Kaya hindi po ma-assess yung equipment, yung mga makinarya nila dyan na binibili nila every year. Ang assessment po ay 1973 pa po. Paano natin makukuha ang tamang buwis kapag hindi nila pinapapasok ang assessor sa kanilang opisina? The NDC said it has to go through them first before the agreement can be authorized. Kung ito po ay itutuloy ng uh, TB5, <clears throat> um, ang kanila pong uh, transaction with uh, ABS-CBN, then we would, want, we would ask for uh, the said... Um, the said uh, clearances to be submitted to the NTC before we can uh, approve po the commercial agreement they, that they entered into. However, according to the Philippine Competition Commission, they might be liable under Bayanihan 2 if they compel ABS-CBN and TV5 to notify them about the agreement. The only question now is, do they have the capacity to look into it? If we compel ABS-CBN and TV5 to notify us, we would be in violation of Bayanihan 2. But just to clarify, uh, Mr. Chair, even if this transaction is not notifiable, we can initiate on our own a moto proprio review of the transaction, but we have to have a reasonable basis. Albay Representative Edsel Lagman, meanwhile, wrote to House Speaker Martin Romualdez and insist the agreement between the two media entities is not a merger. Daniel Marlastas for The Nation.